white-tailed deer is highly variable in size. North American male deer, known as a buck, usually weigh 45 kilograms, but in rare cases, bucks in excess of 125 kilograms have been recorded. The female, or doe, in North America usually weighs from 40 to 90 kilograms. White-tailed deer have many forms of communication involving sound, scent, body language, and marking. Fawns release a high-pitched squeal, known as a bleat to call out to their mothers. A doe makes maternal grunts when searching for her bedded fawns. Bucks also grunt at a pitch lower than that of a doe. In addition to grunting, both does and bucks also snort, a sound that often signals an imminent threat. Mature bucks also produce a grunt, snort, wheeze pattern, unique to each animal that asserts its dominance, aggression, and hostility. Another way white-tailed deer communicate is through the use of their white tail. When spooked, it will raise its tail to warn the other deer in the immediate area. Some deer can run faster than their predators and have been recorded at speeds of 75 kilometers per hour. They can also jump 2.7 meters high and up to 10 meters in length. Females give birth to between one and three spotted young known as fawns, generally in May or June. Fawns lose their spots during the first summer and weigh between 20 to 35 kilograms by their first winter. For the first four weeks, fawns are hidden in vegetation by their mothers who nurse them four to five times a day. This strategy keeps scent levels low to avoid predators. After about a month, the fawns are then able to follow their mothers on foraging trips. They are usually weaned after eight to 10 weeks. Deer are the primary host for the adult black-legged tick which transmits Lyme disease bacteria to humans. These fawns are all carefully cared for and wild at heart. They're cute, they're lovely, they're gentle, and they will all be returned back to the wild as soon as they're old enough.